Hello everyone, this is Lydia. When I make a card for someone, I often make two of the same card so that I can add one to my stash. If I've taken the time to select all the materials for a card, it doesn't take that much longer to make two. In this video, I'm going to talk about making duplicates and other changes we can make in the prepare screen before sending projects to cut. Make, making duplicates of a project is very easy in Design Space. After I hit Make It, Design Space goes to the prepare screen. I use the up arrow next to the project copies box to increase my quantities. Then I click apply. Design Space will automatically increase the quantities of all my images and arrange them on the fewest number of mats. When, with this card, the base is too big to get on two on a 12 by 12 mat, but two copies of the top piece of the card can fit on one mat. I'm going to use some pearl paper scraps, so I'll move them to the sides of the mat in order to place them more easily. Here's what my actual mat looks like. It won't make any difference to the Cricut that I'm using two separate pieces and colors of pearl paper. I've also decided to use letter size cardstock for the card bases, so I won't have as much left over. I can change my material size in the drop down menu. I don't necessarily have to do this, but it gives me reassurance that my image will fit on my material without having to go back to the design screen to check. I can still move it around within the parameters of the 8.5 by 11 piece of material. When I change my material size to letter size for the first mat, it automatically changes the material size for my other base card, uh, card base copy. The mat that is selected when you hit continue will still be selected when you get to the cut screen. So if I have mat 3 selected, when I go to the next screen, it will cut mat 3 first. If I've been e editing the mats, it's important to double check to make sure that I'm doing the correct cut on the correct mat. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please give me a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.